my mouth honestly is a little caught off guard because of how these flavors are tasting. I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing. So that's what I did. Can you not put me on your camera? I ended up breaking off my engagement. Good morning, lovelies. How are you guys doing today? I'm feeling blessed. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day today. As you guys can tell, maybe you can, maybe you can't, by the title of this video, what we're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to be attempting motherhood, starting at 5 a.m. I don't plan on doing the whole day. That's not what the plan is. But I do want to do the, oh, take the kids to school, get them dressed, get them ready, drop them off. Very much so thing. It's not a trend or anything like that. Um, I'm doing it just because, like, I just wanted to. I thought it would be a good idea to try it out and do it. My routine, for me, at least started at 5. Because my mom's hers usually starts at, like, 6 or 5.30. I think she said 6, though. So I'm going to start mine at 5 so that I could go to Starbucks and get me a coffee. Because I know my siblings, and I know that they get on my nerves. And I know I'm going to need a little extra boost. Even though I feel like... I feel kind of like excited and motivated a little bit, so I don't know if I'm going to need that much of a boost. So it is early. It's currently like, let me see what time is it. Oh, it's 5.40, so I have to go. I thought it was like 5.30, 5.25. It's 5.40. Dang, I take that long to get dressed. Like, that's crazy. Oh, by the, my name. By the way, my name is Arion. Arion Love is the title of my channel. But my name is Arion. Welcome. And click that subscribe button. Spam it. It's like, no, you ain't got to spam it. Just just click it. Just like, just like, boop. You know, just so, something, something very elegant. <laughs> okay. Y'all, watch my car. So nobody's doing it. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of people out more than you. Well, actually, it's not. It's about that time for everybody to get up. It's like about 6 a.m. then. Almost 6 a.m. at least. It's about that time. I got my Starbucks. I got a grande hot chai latte with brown sugar and caramel drizzle around the rim. And I don't want to burn my freaking mouth off, but I want to taste it so bad. But I hate whenever like I drink hot coffee and like I go to drink it and it burns my tongue. And now my tongue, that part of my tongue just can't receive flavor and it hurts. You do not go get some rags for your faces and your toothbrushes. This is from Winco. We got the big old party size pack. It's charging right now. I just put on the charger. Go plug it back up. She felt up like that. Did she, did she spill? Oh, she don't spill? I need me one of these. I gotta put it. I think he ate the rest of the sauce, but I'm looking at the fridge and see. So. Yes, sir, I do. A grande hot 
try latte. Brown sugar. Do you want some of these cheese puffs in your lunch bowl? Huh? Oh, burnt pancake! Put two of these applesauces in here because he's an applesauce fan. You saw my mom in the back, right? Well, let me tell y'all something. Y'all probably just seen her, and y'all probably wondering, like, Iron, you said you was doing this by yourself. Nobody said I was a single mother. <laughs> okay, very mindful. Very cutesy. Very cutesy. Very demure. Also, I don't know, like, where his my younger brother, my youngest brother's school is. So, like, I need her to give me directions. And she said there's, well, I would have been able to do it by myself, but she said there's a certain way that you have to pull in and do the whole drop-off system. So she's gonna um, help me do that. I should've worn my other way, but because I gotta go on a walk today, Mom. this one is like lighter. On, the other one is heavier. On, Hi, guys. How are you? Dropping the kids off. Thank God, but I have a few hours to myself. Can I, can I, can you see your purse? Your, where's your lip gloss? It's on the floor. You already took it. These are the things that you could do when you drop the kids off at school. When you do your mom duties, when you do your motherly, when you do your motherly duties, you get to go to Target. You get to go to Target. My ankle hurting. Hold on. Hold on, my ankle still hurting. Okay, you know what? I don't know if I should be buying too much in here. I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Hold on now. She's still trying to hurt. She's aching. She's actually hurting. Okay, we made it into Target. I just need hair lotion, honestly. Some hair moisturizer, some hair lotion. That's all I need. Look how antsy, antsy, antsy. You know, I'm waiting for one of those counter, was one of those encounters where people are like, can you not put me on your camera? I'm be like, Oop, can you not be in the shot? It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm just playing. Like you came here to shop. Let me just get out your way. My bad, my biggie bad. Is it gonna make my hair feel soft? Moisture milk, yes. She my love. It says milk on there. Do I have like the Tabitha brown hair care line in here or no? No? It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> My little brother loves saying that. People like Ariane. I be getting on his nerves. He be like, it gets to a point. Be like, oh, you right. Because it does get to a point where you just like, how many times is you really gonna get on my nerves? Because what? Because it gets to a point. Before I go home, let me show y'all what I got. I only got two things. I mean, I, I mean, I only got, we already know. I got some of this moisture milk by Pattern Beauty. Even though I want to try Donna's recipe. Donna! <gasps> so maybe when this one runs out, I'm gonna go get the Donna's recipe from Ulta. And then I got this Miel Curl Defining Mousse with Hold to Hold. Because as you, as you guys can see, like my hair is like half braided and then the rest is like curly on the ends and stuff. Like I let the hair out. So I need mousse so that it can hold the curl, but I need moisture so that my hair doesn't dry out from it not being locked up all the way. And then we have oil at home, so I'm not worried about oil. Yes, I'll talk to you guys. Later when I start doing something else, which I should. Look at this. We made it to the water, we walked. This is a hotel. Would you want to stay there? Uh, probably not. Well, I would. I wouldn't mind it if I did. Y'all probably like, why aren't you wearing white shoes to the beach? I forgot. I forgot. This is about to be real wobbly because I'm walking literally in the middle of the sand. And it feels weird walking in the sand with shoes. Me and Ava were just talking yesterday. We were like, who wears tennis shoes to the beach? 
Who does that? Well, you got a person doing a handstand in the water. In the water? Yeah, you see them? Oh yeah, they're tweaked. Whenever I go upside down in the water, it feels like the pressure is like trying to kill my head. Oh, the got their Ray Bans. Look at the doggy. Why you say that? Because the waves sound like. Uh, Seagulls, they be eating them. Oh, yeah. Because look, they're all open. Like these. The seagulls just pop it open. They pop. Look how, how look how many. Dude, the seagulls can open those like in one try, but I can't open them. Look at this freaking view. Look at that. Yo, what is all this? Look at that in the water. That's all this stuff. That's all that seaweed. Yeah, it's polluting the water. It's not polluting. It's from the bottom of the ocean. They're, the water's pushing it out. So that it can dry up and mend with the sand. Mm -hmm. Probably half the time what you're sitting on. Pick up some of that and throw it like a snowball. Ew, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. I'm low-key nervous to go on these rocks. Cause I do not want to fall. Ew, you give me twenty dollars? No, pay for my food and I'll do it. Pluck off a barnacle? You got to go close to the water. I'm gonna fall in. You're not gonna die. But I'll, Alan, this is your rock. The water is pushing on the rock. Maybe on this side, I can do it. Look at all that. This is a big glob. No. This crab oh, the crab is too large. They you don't you eat die. your body. Yes, you, if you die, they would oh, eat your body. Yeah, it's you right die. there. Who got the way? Let me see. Crab right there. Oh look. You guys see it? The crab. Get it, Alan. No. Go it. Like they alive. They are. If I see a crab right here, I'm gonna freak out. Is that crab coming? The water's coming. I'm scared. Okay, ready? Grab it. Oh, I'm so scared. All the food that comes. Yes, they alive. <laughs> I just can't grab it. Did you like, touch it? Yeah, I picked it off. Okay, grab it. Did you get one? Okay. Yeah. Open it. Oh my gosh. And what? Open it? Yeah. I can't. Just stick your nail in there. Step on it. No, he's alive in there. Yeah, you, you opening it is hurting it anyway. It's alive. And his tongue is gonna come out. No, here, take open it. it. I, open I hate it. when his tongue comes out. No. No. I'm gonna throw it in the water on it. Okay. You all those. Those are all. All of those. That whole little black thing. That whole little ball of black. Is, it's crab. Yeah, huh? I just saw them moving. Yes, you see them moving? Oh yeah, I see them. <gasps> no way. That's all crab. Crab. Right, most the, of it. What if you stuck a stick in there and they start running after you? I would. <laughs> Drop my camera. I was like, shit. <laughs> Not me, Jesus. Go ahead, go up higher. There's crabs in there. Oh, God. They see me. They're scared. They running from you. They scared of you. Can y'all see that in that hole? There's All crab those right crabs. There too. There's crabs in there. Yeah, I see. It's a lot in there. It's like three in there. Four, three, four. These things actually exist. Like animals? Yes. 
Oh, my hips. Oh, look, little, little, the little fan animals I'll tell you about. They're all in there. You see them? That is so gross. That is gross. Look, it's another, like, is that a rock or sea animal? Oh, look, look. I was gonna say, you should add, like, edits in you your, walk. in your um, thing. Not just videos, but, like, pictures of things. I don't know how to do that. Download an app to do it, but I can't tell you my secret. Why? Because it's a secret. Why can't you tell me? Because it's a secret. Why? Why is it a secret? Huh? Why is it a secret? Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to tell me. Oh, look, they start at 22. Yeah, I'm about here. to work here. I would enjoy working here. Why are you too busy? Yeah. It's like Duncan, but all day. I'm about to say, yeah, all morning, like Duncan, but on Sundays, <laughs> all the time. The only thing difference between like this and Duncan is like, Duncan had rushes. This one is just consistent. They just got rid of a bunch of people, oh, but more night. people are back in at night. At night. Man, the line, I be on the freeway, the line be live. This one? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. All the kids come in at night because they don't work and it's really cheap here. They're like, mama, can I get like $10? <laughs> Literally, that's all you need. Mom's like $9.60 something. But they got more time on their hands. Which I mean, which is kind of counterproductive. Because you have more time, but you have less money. Yeah. When you work, you have more money, but less time. Which means you can save done. better. And you'll have the money whenever you want to go out. Yeah. But you have more time and less money. You have more time to spend money, but you have less money to spend. Yeah. So really, you're taking away instead of adding. Mm -hmm. okay. Even if you get a job that's like just for the weekends in the summer, that you'll make more money. Like, we're here for the weekend, that's it. You'll make money. I know. That's how I knew that I had to stay here. I was like, oh. hmm. Go off, Queen. All right. They're out of this. Thanks. Hey guys, me and my brother got back from our walk a little bit ago. So we were chilling. Honestly, that's all we were doing. And my mom went to go pick up the kids from school. She likes to walk to the school and to go get them just to get some st extra steps in. So I won't be doing that. My motherly duties are over. Now I'm back to sister mode. I'm about to take a nap because I am literally tired. When you wake up early, and I'm saying like I was being a mother this morning. Like when you wake up early and you just deal with kids and then my brother is like, oh, let's go for a walk. And I already wanted to take a nap when I got home from the store but he was like let's go for a walk and I wanted to walk with him because me and him need that bonding time and you know he's transitioning to start college and stuff so I'm just like let me help help him and answer any questions that he may have and he did he asked me a lot of questions about credit cards and things that I would have asked at his age which is crazy because now it's like I'm the one answering them when I was the one figuring it out which I think is so crazy honestly that now he's 18 and he's just trying he's like getting up off the ground and he's like about to learn the ropes of life and become the man of God that you know God wants him to be he's going to be come this whole individual that I'm not I can no longer shape and mold but only can assist and help guide I mean I wasn't shaping and molding him in the first place God was and my mom was but I just like to say that because like he's second born I'm first born he's second born I don't know I just kind of feel like I played a big I do I played a big part in his life and now I'm like I know like once he starts going to college and stuff, he's going to be influenced by friends and peers and teachers and stuff rather than this household. I mean, he's already been doing that since high school, but I feel like college, when you become an adult, you get this mindset where it's like, okay, you know what? My family's opinions and things of that sort are now suggestions rather than my mother telling me what to do, rather than my sister uh, telling me what to do. I can't really do my own thing. Because, you know, we all get in this mindset when we become like 
well, at least I know like I did for a little bit when I became a young adult I always listened to my mother but at the same time I always said my mom was like okay I can make my own decisions though like I can take what she suggests and I'll thank her for that information and that grace but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing so that's what I did and and then I got I let I got led to God anyways at the age of like 20 21 at the age of 20 the end of my 20s at the end of age 20 that's when I um found God in a different way that I didn't know before so I don't know two years all it took was two three years just I'm so happy that he's about to experience life and he's doing all these things and I'm proud of him and who he's becoming um I'm seeing so many people grow and develop people that I grew up with people that some friends of mine and I'm just seeing everybody do all this wonderful things. It just makes me more excited for the future that God has for all of us, and including myself. I know sometimes I, if you're human, like I am, we get um, stuck thinking like, oh my gosh, when is this part going to be over? I just want to get to the next part. I just want to get to the next part. I just want to get to the next part. But really, it's about the now as well, like the experience. I know I'm just rambling and I'm just going on and on and on and leading myself in different directions. But... The way that life is moving, I, it's just beautiful. Seeing how God has elevated my family and I since we moved to California has been amazing. I guess I can turn this into a vlog or maybe I should wait till my next vlog to announce this. I guess I'll announce it here. <laughs> so I know there was also, I want to mention something else that maybe some of you picked up on, maybe some of you haven't, maybe some of you noticed, maybe some of you haven't. I don't know you guys seen a month or two ago, I don't know, I'm not sure, not very long ago, I had posted a video that said vacay vlog, and there was like a big announcement in there, and I was saying how I was engaged, and you know, all these things, and it was just a, basically about our engagement, um, but I ended up, uh, deep diving into myself and not selfishly but with god and prayer and um fasting and a lot of communication with god um delving into him and i ended up breaking off my engagement so i just wanted to let you guys know that that is no longer a thing for all the people who were excited and commented i thank you so much for rooting for me and rooting for us but it didn't turn out. I mean, there was, it was not, it was not, it was, I don't want to really talk about details because I respect this person. I respect him as a person and it's not something that he did to hurt me or anything like that or vice versa. It was just, I went into prayer and fasting and I talked to God and, you know, sometimes we think people are for us, but really they aren't. And we really have to be able to dive into God and actually search for the word that he has for us and seek um, his guidance on these things so that we don't end up with the wrong person or take another woman's husband from her or take another man's wife from him because we are thirsty to be married. Amen. So that goes to say I'm back in my single season, <laughs> which I'm completely okay with because... I love it here. I feel free in this area. I feel safe in this area. And I do still plan on getting married and finding love and blah, 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 all that stuff. But I don't want to find it. I want God to send it to me. But in the meantime, I receive the Lord's love and what he has for me and his plans. I'm trying to say this without like saying too much because I hate to be the person to spill too much tea on like YouTube. Like I feel like you guys just shouldn't know every single detail about my life but eventually you guys probably will after um i be consistent and stuff with posting and stuff and it's for the better of both of us honestly there's a piece about me about the situation that i have and i feel good i feel like i did the right thing i feel like this is going to guide both of us to better and i just can't wait to see what god's going to do with my life now and what the plan he actually has for me not the plan that i have for myself i know this is such a heavy thing to put in this video like i was doing my motherly things this morning and went on a walk with my brother and now i'm talking about taking a nap and stuff and now i'm talking about breaking off my, my broken off engagement <laughs> it's like when i'm like girl tea after tea after what like no 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 
first of all, there wasn't much tea they even really gave in the first place. I'm just letting y'all know for the people who did see that, you know? So this goes to say to all of the women and men of God, you know, don't be too quick to rush into a relationship. Don't be too quick to jump into marriage. Don't idolize marriage. Cause when you idolize marriage, you get blinded from what God actually wants for you. And we need to be aware of the things of the spirit, especially in times like this. And I know everybody always say like, Oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, Oh my gosh. But when I say like, I don't know if you guys have been realizing, but there's been a lot of false prophet this, false prophet that, false, 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 false. There's, there, people are tossing around this false prophet thing a lot lately. And it just goes to show that the, the Lord is shaking his people first. We need to delve into the Lord. Like we need to hear him because in a time like this, you really don't want to marry the wrong individual because unequally yoked and you trying to serve the Lord and they're not serving the Lord like you are or vice versa. You're not serving the Lord like how they are. We need somebody who's going to be able to be equally yoked with us so that we can be led in the correct direction, which is toward the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the way in which he calls for both of us to be walking in him. We can't have two different views on Jesus. You know what I'm trying to say? So, cause it's not going to work like that. Now you could think a certain thing and I could think a certain thing of how God might move. Maybe God wants something like that so that we could actually find the truth together. But you can't be unequally yoked because it just doesn't work like that. Just be careful, you guys. Don't be careful. Be with God and he'll direct you to wherever he wants you to go. And trust in him and follow him because he is the way, the truth, and the light. And the life. Okay? I barely got any sleep yesterday, last night. Not last night, but the night before. And now I feel like my body is like, okay, you're not getting your full seven, eight hours. Like, something's got to give. And I know you can never catch up on sleep because you can never catch up on time. But one thing I'm about to do is put an hour, 30 to an hour, 30 to 45 minutes, probably. That's it, probably. Into a nap. Okay. But um, I went to, we went to this Lebanese restaurant yesterday. I'm about to eat the rest of this wrap that I got. The one thing I can say about eating like different culture foods is the flavors are completely different. It makes you think like, what are they using to make these flavors up? Because I've never experienced these flavors before at all so when i'm tasting these flavors my mouth honestly is a little caught off guard because of how these flavors are tasting if i'm being completely honest and when i first bit into it i didn't know if i liked it only because it was completely different kind of like when i first tried sushi for the first time and when i tried sushi for the first time i was actually also caught off guard because i was like i don't know if i like this or not but then I started craving sushi, so then I knew that I liked sushi. Honestly, if I'm being honest, it is a little weird trying different people's foods because of the flavors. But I'm used to eating like things like Chinese food or maybe like a Mediterranean dish my mom makes at home. I've had Indian food maybe once or twice. Maybe once in my, in my life, that was also different. I don't like the long grains of rice that they use. I don't like that type of rice, only because like it looks like, like bugs to me. Um, long grain rice I think it's called and it, it they taste it tastes weird a little bit to me I don't like the long grain rice but I will eat it I don't know if y'all ever felt like that but let me know what foods down in the comments you guys like have eaten and you guys were like what that's different but then you were like oh wow like it's actually really good like I don't know if I told y'all got you guys earlier about the mango with tahini chamoy and lime on it like that was a shocker to me and a lot of people like a lot of Mexican people that I live near, they love putting like lime on all their spicy chips, which I still haven't tried yet, but I heard that it's pretty good. So that's also like a culture thing I'm guessing that I need to try. Okay, so I'm gonna thank you guys for watching today's video. I don't really have anything else um, for you guys today. I'm about to go um, relax, maybe watch a movie. Um, there's this new movie I saw with Adam Sandler and it called Space Man which looked good. It was like with that giant alien spider. I think about watching that. But I really wanna watch a movie like Hunger Games. Hunger Games is one of my favorite movies. And I wonder, I really wanna watch a movie like that. Or like Scorched Trials or Divergent. Those were, that was the best time of my life when those movies was coming out. I wanted to see Hunger Games like every year for my birthday. Cause it came, my birthday is in November. Yes, yeah, so every year for my birthday I would go see Hunger Games and because it came out in November my birthday's in November so I would go see it and with my mom and her her boyfriend at the time and it was the best time and then when this new movie came out 
I was so excited. Like the ballad of the birds or something like that. <clears throat> I didn't think, songbird ballad or something. It was a, the new Hunger Games. It was a President Snow's um, past. And did you guys know that that was like almost her great great grandmother? And that's why, like, her family was singing those songs. That's why Katniss Everdeen, her family, was singing those songs. Because it was in her tradition, her family tradition to do that. I looked it up online because I was like, are they, like, related? Like, wouldn't that be crazy if they were? Because it seems like they are. Because she ran away and she was pregnant. At least I think she was pregnant. Was she pregnant? I can't remember that in the movie. I don't think she was pregnant. I don't think they told us if she was or she wasn't. But what if she was pregnant? That's actually President Snow's family now what if they had a baby and Katniss Everdeen is like the mix of the two wouldn't that be insane those movies man I think that was when I was a teenager the movies were started coming out like I was in love like middle school teenagers yeah it's like oh my gosh that's the best time and that, that genre of movies is just like they don't make them like that anymore but I think maybe because they're like it's dead but I'm telling you right now if they start dropping movies like that I would be there and so would all the other girls and the boys who grew up on Hunger Games. Hunter, I was gonna say Hunter Runner. Ugh. Running Trail? <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. I know somebody out there knows what I'm trying to say. Divergent, Maze Runner. Maze Runner, Divergent, Hunger Games. Those. If you guys know anything else, please let me know in the comments so I can watch it. But those three, the series, oh my gosh like if they draw movies like that right now i'll be right there at the movie theater first one in line like take my money take my money matter of fact paid online give my ticket give my ticket quick fast and in a hurry i'm trying to get my seat I'm trying to get the best seats the middle rows or the top middle rows but in the middle so the screen is just like boom, like right in front of you thank you guys for tuning in with me on today's video hope you guys enjoyed yourselves like comment make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys watch this all the way through and if you did watch it all the way through i thank you so very much and your time is very much appreciated so i thank you and i hope you guys have a blessed day night evening morning whatever it may be for you when you're watching this i'm gonna have me a good afternoon good night well it's five so it's probably a good night for me which is kind of sad because i gotta work tomorrow it's not sad at all anyways have a good night morning evening afternoon whatever it may be for you um, and be blessed, never stress. Okay. God loves you. All right. Bye.